Hello YouTube, uh, this is King's Codes here and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make an IP banner in Visual Basic 2008. So first here uh, I'm going to show you the finished product. This is how it should look or something how it should look. So what you got here is uh, the uh, server and when you press show client this should pop up and if I was to type in my IP and click ban it should say IP has been banned if you show the uh, client you have been IP banned and usually if you were to make this an actual IP banner uh, for an actual uh, chatting program or something like that uh, this will not pop up it will be closed because it has been banned so next you can unban click unban it has been unbanned and you show the client and it works so now let's go into the actual coding itself and how to do this so first what you want to do is open up visual basic and click right here new project uh, name of the project whatever you want and click enter and you should have something in the shape of this change it back to this or you could just keep it there it doesn't really matter and now this whole thing is just code uh, no no uh, actual components that need to be added uh, so let's go to the coding later and add the second form click add new item uh, go to Windows form and click add uh, I already have mine so that would not be necessary for me next you have this resize it to whatever you want you could again put this in any shape or size uh, it just needs to have these components uh, text box three buttons and that's about it so next let's go to the coding now this is not a lot so type it out uh, so import system.net import system.io private IPS string equals nothing um, in the form below which you could get by double clicking on this <coughs> try dim get IP address as string equals new web client Da, download string and that's automation dot what is my IP dot com slash n zero nine two three zero nine four five dot ASP IP equals get IP address if my dot it settings the IP s contains uh, IP then message box you will have been banned <clears throat> and if and when you put in try it should have it should automatically add these two so just paste this code inside of these or it's in the video description so don't worry uh, you could just copy and paste it uh, so at this point you should have some errors so we're gonna fix those let's go into my project and <clears throat> go into the settings it might be on the application or it just might be on the settings and type in IPS change the type to system collection specialized string collection and this is pretty important if you don't do this you will have an error now it should be like this and what you want to do is just put a space now what, what will that do is add a component and if you don't do that it may be an error I'm not sure it's an error on my computer so I just put the space there and that fixes it uh, so on the form 2 want to double click on here and uh, put this code in the you want to make sure that the ban unban and show client is in order uh, button 1 button 2 and button 3 because if you do that wrong then you'll have some problems 
So what you want to do is in the button one, which is the ban my dot settings dot ips dot add text box one dot text text box one dot text equals nothing and message box ip has been banned now in the button two you want to add a try because it might not work uh, correctly so you don't want it messing up so you just want to add the try so if it messes up it's just going to say user is not in database so what you want to do is after you put in the try again you'll have the catch as catch xp as exception and under that you want to type in message box user is not in database and above that you want to uh, put this so in the form closing which you should get by uh, clicking up here going to form one dot events uh, scrolling down a little bit to the form closing and type in my dot settings dot save which is very essential to this because if you do not put that your settings will not save and the when you open it the next time the IP will be lost and there will be no IP in the button three dot click you want to put it so the form one shows the client and yeah, that's about it. After that, you should have this right here, as I showed you in the beginning. <clears throat> and you have been banned. And then I want to unban. Unban. Now, this is just a sample. You could actually make it like online and stuff like that by making an FTP server and adding the IPs up there so when they make like the chatting program or whatever it checks online to see if the IP is there so it knows to ban to say that it's banned or not so other than that this is this was how to make an IP banner from King's Codes uh, please comment rate and subscribe and yeah bye